Texas is blocking federal agents from processing migrants in a public area of Eagle Pass, just a mile away from the U.S.-Mexico border. The move is the latest escalation between the state and federal government over the nation's immigration policy. Texas's Republican Governor Greg Abbott deployed National Guard troops to the park. They are now preventing U.S. Border Patrol agents from entering and patrolling the area. The federal government previously used the space to hold migrants in a staging area before further processing. CBS News immigration and political reporter Camilo Montoya Galvez joins us now. Uh, Camilo, how is the state of Texas able to do this? Hi, Elaine. This really is an extraordinary standoff between Texas and the Biden administration. Texas National Guard members, as we speak, have been deployed by Governor Greg Abbott to take control of this public park in Eagle Pass, Texas, where Border Patrol had been holding migrants in a staging area, as you underscored. And right now, Texas National Guard soldiers and vehicles are actively denying Border Patrol agents, as well as federal National Guard members, access to roughly 2.5 miles of the U.S.-Mexico border. According to federal officials who spoke with CBS News, this means that Border Patrol agents cannot access this area, Elaine, to process migrants, including those who may be in distress, who are experiencing a medical emergency, for example. They cannot patrol that area or conduct surveillance as well. These are, after all, Elaine, federal responsibilities. And in terms of the legality of these actions, that is still very much an open question. Governor Abbott has previously said that he has the authority to take sweeping actions to deter illegal crossings. But this is certainly, Elaine, his most drastic move yet to challenge the Biden administration's authority on immigration. Well, how is the White House responding to this, Camilo? Well, the White House actually issued a statement just recently, Elaine. I want to read that to our viewers and our audiences. The White House is accusing Governor Abbott of trying to interfere with immigration and border enforcement, saying that the governor is continuing his extreme political stunts that not only seek to demonize and dehumanize people, but that also make it harder and more dangerous for Border Patrol to do their job. So this is clearly the latest escalation in this feud between President Biden and Governor Abbott. The Biden administration, the Justice Department specifically, Elaine, has also alerted the Supreme Court of these actions by Texas in Eagle Pass. So we should expect a prolonged legal battle on this matter as well. That um, was going to be my question. I mean, what does this signify about this fight over who is responsible for the nation's immigration policy? Well, Elaine, I think this really illustrates that governors like Greg Abbott are not shy about testing the limits of their authority on immigration and border issues. They have significant disagreements with how the Biden administration has handled the record levels of migration along the U.S.-Mexico border over the past three years. Governor Abbott in just three years has bused tens of thousands of migrants to Democratic-led cities, including over there in New York City. Elaine, he has charged migrants on trespassing charges and fortified the riverbanks of the Rio Grande with razor wire and floating barriers. And most, most recently, he signed a law, Governor Abbott did, Elaine, that would allow the state to prosecute, jail, and arrest migrants on state criminal charges of crossing into Texas illegally. Those actions are already illegal at the federal level, and that is why the Justice Department is challenging that law and is hoping to enjoin it to prevent it from taking effect in March. All right, Camilo Montoya Galvez. Camilo, thank you very much.